Well, it's time for more some for more hop sparrowing or excavating the hop sparrow rather. Last time around, we not only found hop sparrow, but uh, we got even we even got the permission to excavate it. But uh, unfortunately, we don't really have like the people to do so, and. Uh, in order to get some, we are not... Okay, at this point I'm not really sure why we're doing that. Okay. <laughs> right, okay, so yeah, obviously. Uh, in perfect... Uh, like, uh, to get some help, we need to talk to... Uh, the local lord to get to talk to the local lord we get to get some milk for his milkmaid or housemaid rather uh, but uh, to get the milk uh, we need to <laughs> make a goat but since we don't want to do it ourselves and because the goat is very scary we gotta get, get someone else to milk the goat but of course naturally He's uh, he's got like aching joints, so he's unable to uh, milk his goat, which sounds like kind of a euphemism, uh, but uh, you know, I don't know. Um, I guess we're taking this literally, so we're trying to get to some flowers for to get a poultice, so we can help this dude, so he can help us make it good and it's it's all very convoluted and from what i remember we got like one yeah a small bunch of elderflowers we got one of those things the fiddle and bow but we still need some other stuff which is in the um up in the church tower but we don't have the key to get there so well in memory of peter black in uh, memory in mem uh, in memory in mem in memory in memory of romeo hegg dearly missed by his beloved uh, in memory of, in mem in mem i mean this is like the one that uh okay look uh, i'm not gonna going to pretend i totally looked that up uh what the solution was, but here it, it does make sort of sense, I guess. Since In of Romeo Hegg, dearly missed by his beloved Juliet. Um, it's like the only plate that's got something special to say, and it's like a Shakespeare reference. So maybe that's where Father Roach keeps his keys. I think I can chip away at this plaster. Not entirely sure, you know. Hmm. I don't know, it seems a little bit suspicious that that's the, like that she... There's a key behind here. This has to be Father Roach's spare. She just do that. Um, she's usually like very, uh, you know, like by adventure games, point and click adventure game protagonist standard, she's like usually very considerate about not doing random acts of antisocial behavior just for the hell of it in but I guess that's the solution. So Capital Wild garlic, fennel, corn mint, borage, quite the collection. A small label on the pot reads, flirt wart. This is just what I need. This okay. is just what I need. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we can't really take in the view. I should put the key back. 
right. Also, maybe the plate. Ah. There. I hope that stays on. I guess it wasn't as antisocial as I thought, but I don't know. Good day. I have the ingredients you asked for. Wonderful. Hand them over. There you go. Tell Mr. Bryden to apply this poultice to the area in question. It works wonders. Thank you very much. Okay. I've got a poultice for your joints, Mr. Bryden. It was prepared by Mildred Walker. Who? You may know her as Mother Mildred. Oh, thank you, lass. That Mildred knows what she's doing. I should have thought to see it myself. She said to apply it directly to where the pain is. It should work very swiftly. I'll give it a try. I mean, if people knew how to take care of their own troubles, uh, uh, there'd be no game, really. Oh, that did the trick, lass. I feel like a lad of 20 again. I suppose you'll be wanting me to milk old Eunice for your in return. If you don't mind, I'd appreciate it. A fair exchange. Stand well back, lass. Believe me, I'm not coming an inch closer. Aww. Come on, Eunice seems cute. There you are, lass. Some fresh milk. Thank you very much, Mr. Bryden. Ah, some nice raw gold milk. Just like I like it. Without any of that stupid pasteurization nonsense. But yeah, like, we're not, uh, like... Willing to dig up the fresh grave, this... uh, but like just randomly. I may be a barrow digger. Like a fresh unmarked grave, uh, without asking anyone about. Like we don't want to do that, but you know, just like chisel away at a random nameplate there. That's fine. I've got a pail of fresh milk here for you, Miss Tompkins. You haven't. Here. Mum, you've saved my hide. Thank you. Are you all right? I'm worried about Mr. Ambrose. Any road, I'm heading back to Panswick Manor now. Would you still like to meet his lordship? Very much so. Now, I can't guarantee you'll be home all right. He's a very busy man. I'll take my chances. Follow me, then. Come on over. It's not much further. Hey. Wee. Time to call this. Sorry, ma'am. Give it here then. <laughs> what the hell is this muck? Goat's milk, ma'am. You daft fit. Since when does his lordship take goat's milk with his tea? Oh, he will not be pleased. Get back to your sweeping before I clip you over the head. Sorry, ma'am. Jeez. Anyways, hi, she seems nice. 
I'm sure she's like very willing to let us in. Bugger off your whelp. This is private land. And I'm a private person, so it just works out all right, right? How very bu how very bucolic. I've no time for frolicking with the flock. Coward. Sometimes you gotta make time, you know? Where is Lord Panswick? Sorry, ma'am. I can't talk. Miss Fenchurch is ever so mad at me. Some fine looking flowers. Some fine. Okay. Hmm. It's a symbol of some kind. A moon, perhaps? Miss Fenchurch is a cruel looking woman. Her face set in a permanent scowl. I don't know. Maybe she likes some music. I don't wish to give that away. <laughs> okay, fine. Yo. Oh! Miss Fencher. Where is Lord? Sorry, Miss Fencher. Okay. Okay, that just takes me back here. Hmm. Oh, hey, the bucket's gone. Not entirely sure. I was wondering if it might be possible. Are you deaf, girl? Don't make me fetch the guards. They're armed, you know. Okay. By Christ, you're like a dog with a bone. Do you want to get yourself shot? Kinda. I can assure you the only things getting shot around here are the pheasant. Oh, oh hey. Lord Grouse. <laughs> Greetings, my lady. Lord James Panswick. Oh, that dude. You're Lord Panswick? As I live and breathe. You could have told me that before. What is life without mystery, Miss Bateman? A predictable stagger to the... More like Lord trying to I get in my Panswick. Someone... Much older and far less handsome? Something like that. <laughs> See? I can read your mind, my dear. Now, may I ask... What brings you to my manor? I wanted to ask if I could borrow some of your labourers. Oh? For what purpose? I intend to excavate Hobbs Barrow tomorrow, and I'm in need of some assistance. An excavation? How very delightful. We're in the middle of our own works right this minute. Follow me, Miss Bateman. Come along. I promise I don't bite. For generations, this chapel was a place of unique devotion. Well, this was until some of my more ungrateful ancestors forgot him and abandoned it. Why did they abandon it? Men of great wealth and power can grow so comfortable that they forget they still need the divine. The sacrifices required to maintain such a relationship were no longer mm. The chapel soon turned to rubble, and with time, even the villagers forgot him. His influence endured, but only with the isolated few who lived on the very fringes of these moors. Believe it or not, my family's fortunes have dwindled ever since. Since I succeeded my father, it has become my life's work to restore this place of worship. With this sacred place rebuilt, he shall be venerated once more, and the name Panswick shall be uttered again across all of England. Guided the hands of my ancestors. Now it is time for him to guide us. Bewley is a godless place. Have you forgotten about St. Edmunds? Father Roach might disagree. <laughs> I shall bring him back to these lands, and this chapel shall be his seat once again. A new world. But it seems like you wish to bring back the past. From out of the old world shall come the new, a greater truth. But I digress. 
Horace, my dear fellow. Aye, your lordship. This fair lady here is in need of some assistance. Would you and your chaps be up for a spot of digging at Hobbs Barrow tomorrow? Hobbs Barrow? Ah, your lordship, tis no bother. Good man. You're in luck, my dear. These are my finest, and they're all yours. Thank you. I am grateful. On one condition. Oh, yes. no. I've heard wonders about Mary de Plancy's Bakewell puddings. I'd rather like to try them for myself. Your lordship, you're giving me the help of your men in exchange for cakes. Yes. But... Farewell, my beauty. Wait! Oh, boy. <laughs> Anyways, um... Yeah. That all sounded very proper Anglican of them. You know? I'm sure... Sure he's, like, just really enthusiastic about, uh... You know, Christian orthodoxy. Uh, not like in an, as in orthodox Christianity, because that's just... True, that's too wide, but it's just like proper English, you know, Christianity. They have some decent equipment here. It will be more than useful for the excavation. Okay. Is his lordship joking about the Bakewell puddings? No, miss. His lordship is a man of folly. How ridiculous! He treats you all right if you do what he asks. No. He's... He's someone who's also a man of folly. You wanna, like, grunt into the microphone? Okay. Sorry. Okay, well. Horace is the leader of this band of merry men. Please let us get on. If you do as his lordship requests. Okay, fine. Good day. Oh, another strumpet looking to find her way into his lordship's bedchambers, I see. I'm nothing of the sort. Ha! I've seen plenty of your sort before. Thank you for bringing me here, Miss Tompkins. You're welcome, ma'am. I've no time for frolicking with the flock. No. Some fine-looking flowers. Bless you. Okay, gotta get us uh, some cake. And I'm not talking about her big butt. This must belong to Mrs. De Plancy. Good day to you, pet. Hello, Mrs. De Plancy. Do you still have some of your homemade Bakewell puddings, Mrs. De Plancy? Oh, you're too late, pet. I've a few left, but they're set aside for someone else. <coughs> Might you please be able to bake me some more? Sorry, I. I'm not in the mood for baking. Truth be told, my dear husband Albert passed away recently. No. Thoughts are all over the shop. I'm so sorry to hear that. I Anyways, give me those cakes. Now. Sorry to hear about your dead husband, but I really gotta get those uh, Bakewell puddings. Were you married to Albert a long time? Aye. Too many years to count. He was a cobbler here in Bewley. Oh. The most dashing gobbler in all of England, I used to tell him. Oh, love is precious, pet. There's nought that can replace the hole it leaves in your heart. I can relate to that in my own way. I wish you strength in this difficult time. Thank you. With God's blessing, I'll get by. Anyways, about those cakes. May I ask who you have set aside the puddings for? Oh, uh... Father Roach. He won't be back until tomorrow. Won't they be off by then? 
Not at all. Besides, pet, as I told you, I'm not in the mood for all this baking chatter. Sorry, Mrs. De Plancy. Thanks for your time. Lord be with you. That's not mine to interfere with. Well. Okay. Hmm. Seemed a little bit evasive. Can't take the sign. Nor the sign is in a shabby state, but the shop appears to be a cobbler's. He's selling an assortment of greasy meat pies and scotch eggs. Hmm, no one here. I really don't want a mutton. It's the apple I gave to Jane. I'll let the worm enjoy his new home. Ah, look at him. He's having a grand old time. The enigmatic Miss. He looks somewhat frail. There's nothing else. I, I can't think of any. Hey, you in the mood for robbing some old ladies? I else to okay, so I guess not. I don't need to. I can't think of any Hey Thistle Crack Whoa Hey Thistle Whoa She's a feisty one mm. I don't wish to wake him. That's not. Okay. Maybe I can find the kid. You know, he seems. The road disappeared. Mm, he seems like a bit of a criminal element, I'd say. Nobody home. Scotch eggs. Great. There's nothing else. Mm hmm. Ah, right. I remember. And Mr. Tillard went off into the woods. Which, hmm. Oh. What a wild... I wonder how we... Hello? Could find out who the hell those cakes are for. Is anyone home? Apparently not. Hmm, he's not... Arr! Finally, go first. Mm -hmm. I've had an. Oh. Hey, he wasn't here before. The simple wooden cross bears a small oh. plaque on which is inscribed the name Albert de Plancy. Relative, are you? No, just looking. He with a cobbler. Who's going to mend me boots now? <laughs> hmm. Hello. Does this fresh grave belong to Mrs. De Plancy's late husband? Aye. Rather bare, isn't it? My job is to dig the graves, not decorate them. Goodbye. Ta-ra. 
Hmm. Okay, so... I don't know, maybe we can get some flowers for it or something? Oh dear. Hello, Mrs. I saw your late husband's grave, Mrs. De Plancy. I am very sorry for your loss. Thank you, Pet. I'm ashamed to say I couldn't afford now more than a simple wooden cross. You were a colourful man, our Albert. He deserves better. He loved his flower beds. Okay. He's only been gone a fortnight, and already his plants have gone to rot. May the Lord forgive me. Plants are difficult to maintain. I'm sure Albert would understand. His precious hippie astrum were the first to go. I would have loved to lay one on his grave. What does a hippie astrum flower look like? Oh, beautiful things they are. Tall stems topped with large red uh -huh. flowers. Hard to grow in this climate. They were his pride and joy. The remarkable thing is there's no scent to him. That's why he loved him so uh -huh. much. You see, he hated anything that smelled sickly sweet. Hippie Astro were just perfect. Let me know if you come across one, won't you? Of course, Mrs. De Plancy. People just love to stop Thanks and to not smell the flowers. But I think we've seen those. These match the description. There's no scent. You get away from my hippie astrum. Ah, apologies. Move! Well, that confirms it. Good day. Hello. I really need one of those hippie astrum flowers. Why? It's a long story. Might you please be able to get one for me, or distract Miss Fenchurch so I can take one? Those flowers are Miss Fenchurch's favorite. Sorry, Mom. It's just that I'm so worried about Mr. Ambrose. The milkman? Aye. We were to run away together today. Oh, boy. I'm worried sick that he stood me up. Without Mr. Ambrose, this job is all I have. I can't risk losing it over a flower. I'm sorry, Miss Tompkins. I still haven't seen him. Do you think he's abandoned me? I'm sure that's not the case. He must have been doing I mean, this. Could you try to find him for me, ma'am? Uh, oh, please, ma sure. I'd do anything for you if you find Why's... my love. I can try. Oh, oh thank you. Why start You're saying now so no ma to people now? Goodbye. I best go but I mean, we kind of know that there's the... I'm not sure if he's like... Uh, would have to go by train, but we know there's a delay in that area. Okay. Hello? Good day. Hey up. Do you know Mr. Ambrose, the milkman? He's here every market day. Except this one. Aye. I haven't seen him today. Any idea where he might be? Not in the slightest. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. <laughs> time for a... Do you know Mr. Ambrose, the milkman? Aye, I do. Why'd you ask? Isn't he normally here at the market? Aye, he's normally two pies in by now. <laughs> Don't know where he is. Hmm. I'm sure someone around here must know where he is. Goodbye. Let me know if you get hungry now, lass. Good day. Care to buy some up? Do you know Mr. Ambrose, the milkman? Eddie? Aye. Have you seen him today? No. Well, maybe his milk's gone off. I hope so. Might mean some of his customers have some spare coin for me veggies. Ha! Goodbye. You know where I am. Mutton pies! Okay, I'm worried Miss Ambrose might have been killed by his, uh, market crier friends. Good day. Hello there. 
Do you know Mr. Ambrose, the milkman? I do, yes. Have you any idea where he might be? He is usually here by now. So I heard. He normally arrives by the road to the east of Beulah. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy your scotch egg. I will. Road to the east. Horse, do you know where he is? Hey, Thistlecrack. <laughs> Whoa. That, uh, I guess that's a road to the east. Because it's flashback time. Here we are. Your shells are looking much more interesting now. I pestered Mother for years to let me bring some of your treasures here. I think she's worried that I'd want to follow in your path. She has hidden most of your discoveries away. I had to beg her to bring me to visit you, you know. I shouldn't worry you with all that. Do you know that I have a story for each of these pots? Well, I don't know if they're all true, but they are my memories. Even though I was so young, I still remember our adventures together. Would you like me to share my memories of them? Well, I'm going to, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Such a great listener. That is. We talked about this one already. The red urn you buried in the garden for me. It seems like such a long time ago. You were incredibly excited about this one. I hadn't gone on an expedition with you yet. You were so happy about it, showing it to Mother and I. You didn't stop talking about it for hours. I thought, how can Daddy be so excited over some old broken pottery? But it wasn't long until I understood. We found this one together in that mucky old barrow near Avebury. I think it was the second time you'd taken me on a dig with you. I remember you bringing it up to your face to look inside and shrieking in horror. There's a bloody rat in there, you screamed. <laughs> no. Mother was so angry when you brought this one home, wasn't she? William, that simply will not do. It's taking up all the space on the mantelpiece. Once you moved it to your study, I remember creeping in to take a peek at it. This is from the first dig I remember you taking me on. The excavation of West Kennet Longbarrow. I found it wedged behind a stone as you ate your sandwich. You said, now there's a tiny urn for a tiny girl. Hmm, I think you brought this one back from a trip abroad. I would have loved to go with you, but Mother didn't want me to. I remember you being so proud of it. It looks ancient. I almost forgot. While I was searching for your pots in the shed, I found one of your manuscripts. I thought Mother had burnt all your notebooks, but she missed one. It was an account of barrows across the east of England. I managed to read it all before Mother took it away. Daddy, it was fascinating. I've decided that is what I want to do with my life. I'm going to travel the country, excavating and documenting my own finds. Well, as soon as I'm old enough to escape mother, that is. When you're feeling better, we can go out on expeditions together again, just like we used to. I promise you'll get better, Daddy. I'll do whatever it takes to make it so. something ahead on the road. Uh, uh, okay. Mr. Ambrose. I'm going to help you. Um... That was a bit of a... Oh, hey. It's Herbert. He's lapping up the spilt milk. Hello, Herbert. Oh. Oops. Um... Spilt milk is so... Let me free you, sir. Curses. The rope is bound too tightly. I can't even free his mouth. What Don't the worry, hell? Sir. I'll find a way to free you. 
Bakewell, 32 miles. Bewley really was in complete isolation before the railway line came in. Bakewell, Bewley. I guess somebody was very mad about milk. Mr. Ambrose is caught. Uh, I guess. Please hold still. I I'm going to cut you free. He had been so tightly bound that I could barely cut through without hurting him further. <laughs> that was an escalation. His mouth was stuffed full of flowers of a most peculiar scent. I was dismayed at such savagery and wondered if the feral folk Father Roach had mentioned were responsible for this abhorrent act. After some considerable effort, I managed to cut him free. Are you all right? I... We were lost in visions of... of hell. Of hell itself. The devil. I saw the devil. Who did this to you? I... don't remember. Oh, the terrible sights I saw. I won't forget them till my last breath. Are you Mr. Ambrose? I... Yes. Yes. Edward Ambrose. You were to meet Miss Tompkins today. Oh, my love. Oh, my darling love. Let me take you to her. Here, take my hand. As we made the arduous trek to Panswick Manor, I probed Mr. Ambrose on who had done this to him. He insisted that he didn't remember anything, except for his nightmarish visions. My love! Jesus, what happened to you? Were you in a fight? No, fret not, my love. I thought you'd abandoned me. Never. Thank your friend here for helping me out of a bind. Oh, Eddie. Well, he's taking this all rather well. Here, my darling. Hang on. You thieving beat! How have you got for garters? Oh, stick it where the sun don't shine, you bitter old sow! Yeah, you tell her! Uh, I, the cheek! <laughs> Here you are, ma'am. Thank you, Miss Tompkins. No, thank you for finding my poor Eddie. Oi, thank you, lass. Let's go, Eddie. I'm never setting foot on this godforsaken estate again. Good luck, you two. But yeah, he was very cool about his situation, con all things considered. But yeah, now we got some flowers, so we can... Have something you found them oh you dear child let's take them straight to albert you'll come with me won't you of course mrs de plancy you know the things i miss most about him are the things that used to annoy me Click of his jaw as he chewed his sandwiches, leaving his tools all around the house. The way he'd never back down from an argument. He's just quiet at home now. Silence. The funny thing is, that's what he always craved. Peace and quiet. He were a good man, our Albert. Sounds like he was. I'm so sorry. Do you fear death, pet? Uh... It's the part in between that concerns me most. Whatever do you mean? My father had an accident many years ago. Ever since, he's been in a state we can neither speak nor move. Oh, that does sound dreadful. I'm sorry, pet. I believe his mind to still be active, but perhaps this is the worst of all fates. To be trapped in one's own body 
and unable to express oneself while the world continues around you. That is what I fear. Maybe he'll get better one day. I'd do anything to make it so. Those flowers look beautiful. They do. Albert will be smiling down on us. Pet, I left me basket inside the church. You'll find some Bakewell puddings in there. You can have them. Oh, you... I insist. You've brought an ounce of happiness into my day, dear. It's only just that I return some. Thank you, Mrs. DePlancy. To be truthful with you, I was saving him for myself. I shouldn't be so selfish. Aww. Lord forgive me. You're nothing of the sort. I'll stay here with Albert a bit longer. You go back to your day, Pitt. Lord be with you. And you, Mrs. DePlancy. Okay, cakes acquired. Here they are. Mrs. DePlancy's famous Bakewell puddings. They smell delicious. Now let's get this excavation going. The vision returns. I come bearing gifts. Freshly baked gifts? Yes. Three of Mrs. DePlancy's famous Bakewell puddings. Ho, 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 ho. You are an amusing creature, Thomasina. What do you mean? You must think me a scoundrel of the highest order for asking you to undertake such folly. Yeah? Of course I would have lent you my men either way. I merely desired an excuse to share a cake with you. Lord Panswick. I take no pleasure in watching you scurry about Bewley to fulfill my every whim. Or do I? I do not find this amusing in the slightest. You have no idea what I had to go through to get these for you. Oh, I do, I do. And that's what I admire about you. Tenacity. Even in the face of something you know to be absurd. You don't give up, do you? Never. Though in this case, I ought to have. <laughs> now then, will you share one of these tempting confections with me? I guess. I don't know. Not because I like his company, but because it would be a shame to let that cake go to waste. Why not? Splendid. I'm glad the rain doesn't put you off. You like to live a little dangerously, don't you, Thomasina? Let us stroll to the back. That sounds nice. We walked side by side down to the beck, his hand occasionally brushing my own. Despite Lord Panswick's entertaining company, I had an overwhelming feeling that time was being wasted. We ate those cakes down by the beck, and as he attempted the most charming lines he could muster upon me, I only had one thing on my mind. Father, could he be saved from his suffering? Was the answer to be found within Hobbs Barrow? I ached to find out. I didn't even notice the taste of those famous puddings. Aww. Seemingly disheartened by my lack of enthusiasm, Lord Panswick soon marched me back toward the ruined chapel. Chaps, listen up. You're to assist Miss Bateman's excavation tomorrow. What time, Miss Bateman? Early morning, if you don't mind. We'll be there whenever you need us, Miss. Hobbs Barrow. On the Bryden estate, if I'm not mistaken. We'll be there. Take your tools with you. Miss Bateman will need every assistance we can provide her with. It's no bother. Splendid. Thank you, lads. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll see you later, my dear. Thank you, Lord Panswick. We're finishing up here, Miss. See you tomorrow morning, all right? Certainly. I appreciate your help. Okay, then. Well, that's a relief to have my crew assembled for tomorrow. It's getting dark and cold. Time to head back to the plow and furrow. I've no time...
I'd rather not walk. It's late. Yes, Mrs. De Plancy is back. It's late. Miss Bateman. Good evening, Stanley. Your Lordship. Stanley, my good man. To what do we owe the pleasure of your visit, Your Lordship? I've come to wish Miss Bateman good fortune for her grand excavation tomorrow. I'm really rather curious as to what she might turn up. As am I, Your Lordship. An exciting time for Bewley. Wouldn't you agree, Stanley? Oh, yes, your lordship. Very, very exciting. My dear, please, allow me the pleasure of buying you a drink. A welcome antidote to the wind's bite, wouldn't you say, Stanley? Yes, indeed, your lordship. Hmm, I guess. I mean, what else is there to do in this place but get some, uh, get uh, hammered? Why not? Splendid. You heard the fair lady. And you know, it's kind of nice to uh, have someone else pay wow. for our drinks so instead of it being the other way around. To Miss Bateman, may she conquer Hobbs Barrow and find all that she desires. Hip hip. Hooray! Hooray! Okay. You don't wish to join me in a beverage? Oh, you go ahead, my dear. Alcohol does not sit well with my constitution. Thank you, your lordship. I needed that. I aim to provide you with whatever your heart desires. I've reminded my chaps there to meet you at Hobbs Barrow in the morning. Thank you again, Lord Panswick. Till we meet again, fête des beaux rêves. Mr. Shoulder, your lordship. Well, that was a little awkward. Oh, hey, it's a vegetable lady. I'd like to avoid. Maybe she didn't notice that I swapped the herbs, but I'll leave those two. I can't think of any. Some seen her. Arthur? I've remembered something. What is it, Arthur? Not here. Meet me outside. In the alley. Okay. He's stinking drunk. But let's hear what he has to say. Hello again, Cyril. You're still here? Leave me. Well, he means well. You've changed your tune, Stanley. An exciting time for Bewley. I thought you didn't want... Well, uh, uh... What can I get you? I'm fine for now, thank you. Hello again. Miss B I've recruited the help of some local labourers to help with the excavation. Marvellous. When do we start? Tomorrow morning, first thing. Wonderful. Can I count on your assistance? Of course. I'll meet you here at the Plough and Furrow. What else can you tell me about the previous excavation? I think I covered it earlier, Miss Bateman. As you yourself said, it was a time of superstitious hysteria. What was it like living in that period of hysteria? I kept to myself. It didn't really affect me. My hens stayed healthy and their eggs kept me well fed. If one can keep a level head in such situations, one can get by. Indeed. Is there anything else I should be aware of before my own excavation? No other ghouls I should be worried about? Ah, you know the answer to that. The corruption in that soil were all in the minds of men. Thank you for your time. Aye, Miss Bateman. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. What is it? First of all, I must apologize to you. That night we met, when I vanished. Yes? Well, 
There were a man in the loo. A hooded man. He threatened me with a beating if I told you anything about what I saw. Oh, Arthur, that's terrible. What did you see? That's the thing. I hadn't the foggiest idea what he were on about. It was a drink, you see. I'm an embarrassment, Thomasina. No, you're not, Arthur. Here's what I need to tell you. I've remembered what you were on about. Oh? I, standing in the woods today, I knew there was something. I waited. I concentrated. And it finally came back to me. Please, you're keeping me in some serious suspense here. All right, all right. It were a couple of days before I met you. Hurry now, Leonard. I'm not as quick as I used to be. This leg is getting worse by the day. Yes, yes. I'm constantly made aware of your failing health. Do not fear. You said he has promised you the reward of your return strength. Aye, and he can't come soon enough. Are you sure that it must be her blood? Mm. Aye, she's family. And she gets here in two days? Aye. We must bring her to the site as soon as she arrives. No, no, no. Your lordship, with all due respect, we've been through this. We need to ease her into the idea. She would laugh in our faces if we just asked for it. Who said we would ask? He told me that she needs to give it willingly. This little scheme of yours better work, Leonard. It will, your lordship. We've got the perfect bit. <gasps> Wait. Who goes there? Did you hear something? Ah, a moonlight tryst. After something, are you, Mr. Tillett? Your lordship, let me... Save your words, you drunken wretch. Off you go, skedaddle. Don't make me ask twice. I do wish you wouldn't spend so much time with that fool. It's beneath a woman of your standard. It's sad, really. That dog urine they serve here has rather pickled the man's brain. You're being most unfair to him. Mr. Tillett is a nice man. <laughs> come now, come now. I shall bid thee adieu once more, for I do not wish for this to come between us. All the very best wishes for your excavation tomorrow, my dear. Thanks. Well done. Doesn't strike me as very Victorian sounding.
Okay. Well, oh, hey, it's our friend. So, Thomasina, the journal proves I'm telling you the truth, does it not? It does. Good. Now listen. I can help him again. We can help him together. How? All those years ago, your father entered this barrow with the goal of binding me within it. All because the people of Beulie had gotten it into their heads that Sack's not what cause of their plight. I tell you, Thomasina, I were not. Your father botched his incantation, leaving me in this weakened state, stuck in this limbo. As for him, well, you know how he ended up. This... this doesn't sound right. Incantations. My father was... is... a man of... You don't know your father, Thomasina. How old were you? A child of not even five, six years? You need to enter this barra and undo what your father did. The spell must be undone. Then not only will I regain my strength, but your father will too. But uh, how do I... Blood. The truest symbol of life and death. It's the life which flows within you. But it's also death once it escapes. I don't understand. Worry not how you'll undo what's been done. When the time comes, you'll know exactly what to do. Time is short. Your father and I grow weaker by the hour. Go. Save your father. Hmm. That seems a little bit, you know, convenient. That I'm supposed to do the thing that uh, the other guys also want me to do. I must undo what has been done. Father, I'm coming. Oh. Herbert, how did you get in here? No. doesn't matter anymore. I've got much more important things to get on with. I've got much... Good morning. Stanley? Ah, Miss Bateman. Mr. Shoulder left a note for you. Thank you, Stanley. Miss Bateman, meet me at my home as soon as you read this. There's no time to waste. Leonard. Oh, there were a key with it, too. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Miss Bateman, I beg you, in the name of God, leave this town. Father Roach, what is the meaning of this? There's naught for you here, lass. Clear off. I beg you. Miss Bateman, Father Roche, Mr. Farnaby, here to wish Miss Bateman good luck for her excavation, gentlemen. Am I, Eck? Mr. Kemp, you know, 
An excavation strongly supported by Lord Panswick, no less. I wish you well with your findings, Miss Bateman. May the Lord strengthen you and guard you from the evil. Yeah, little children, guard yourselves from idols. Mm, I don't Good know. Luck, Miss Bateman. Thank you. None of this seems very genuine. I must make haste. I must. I must make. Make hate. Wait a second. Um, it's dead. The poor thing is beyond help. Okay. This is where I dug up. That's concerning. Concerning. Douglas. Welp. It's just a toy. It's no use. The devil. What a peculiar. I can't quite. What's this? What's this? It's locked. Mr. Shoulder, I got your note. Explain yourself. Curses. Obviously. The key fits. Another one of these peculiar uh -huh. stones. Wait. Does this mean Mr. Shoulder was the third man on my father's excavation? There's a note underneath. My heart is his heart. My light is his light. Okay. Where did the... I don't like this. Mr. Shoulder, what is the mean... Where did the it's just Oops. It's Lord Panswick's men. It's time to Lord Pan Okay then. I'm sure all these signs are... they don't mean anything. Oh. Surely. Hands, goats, blood. Is anyone hurt? There's no significance to any of this. Well, let's get a win an excavating. Good morning, men. 
Thank you for braving the weather. Ah, miss. Little rain is no bother. So, may we start? Yes, we've not a moment to waste. And so, the excavation of Hobbs Barrow began. Oh, they did it. They set the name of the game. Wallace and his men learnt quickly and went about their work with care. We toiled for hours, rolling away great stones, removing mortar and masonry put in place by Father, Mr. Bryden and Mr. Shoulder. They had gone to great lengths to seal the barrow. I should have realised their efforts were not only to keep us out, but also to keep something contained within. Eventually, our careful application of pick, trowel and shovel gave way to open space. A stagnant, cadaverous odour was let forth. The seal was broken. I couldn't believe my eyes. Splendid work, all of you. Step inside, miss. We'll be right behind you. Thank you, Horace. I can't wait a moment longer. I'm sure this is a great idea. Flowers? I can't get my head around this. How could they possibly grow here? Horace, come see this. Yeah. Horace? Chaps? I've been abandoned. Fairly standard Bronze Age pottery. Smashed to high heaven, I'm afraid. Not worth making a note of. A burial urn, perhaps, though there's no sign of ashes. An unremarkable find. Try as I might, these flowers are steadfastly rooted. <clears throat> they look the same as the flowers that were stuffed down Mr. Ambrose's throat. Strange. Hmm. <clears throat> they are not budging an inch. Let's see if I can cut them away. Incredible. Something has been boarded up here. The rock appears to be holding the boards in place. The boards are held... The rock appears... Iron stakes have been driven through the boards, holding them firmly in place. I feel uneasy about what might... Hmm, I can't... A passage! Father, I'm coming. Great idea. Curses. Except Am I out of paraffin? 
It's an exceptionally great idea. Thank goodness. More flowers. Some steps. Okay. My lantern went out for good this time. I had no choice but to venture forth into the darkness. With each step, the passage narrowed in every conceivable way until I was on hand and knee, crawling through thick clumps of vegetation. The odor of that dank soil was somehow unnatural. I crawled for an age, until I emerged in a cavern that seemed lit by the very earth itself. A great stone slab of a door. What is this place? Anyone home? It's as solid as it looks. A thin strip of stone. It's a slightly different color to the rest of the masonry. This stone panel seems somewhat loose. Well, I could, but I don't have a year. Perhaps I can chip away at the edge of the stonework here. Well, the chisel broke, but what have we here? Well... Hmm. Three niches have been carved into the stone. I... I've played enough Resident Evil games to know where this is going. What's that note? Let me see. Uh, my heart is his heart. Okay, that's not. Yo? Yo? I guess one? Two? And. Three. A click. Incredible. Oh. Okay. Your upper and cares. Clicking sound, but nothing happened. Hmm. I must push. F Do we have anything with the moon? Hmm. I mean... Right, I think... Uh, Mr. Shoulder had something on his... Uh, had like a moon carved on his... And uh, it's the up part? Still not. Oh, actually, maybe I had like a typo oh before. The light. <laughs> Curses. 
Sorry, I know this Goodness is me. meant to be very spooky, but I can't with the hands There's on the door. Bronze Age about this. Roman? Ancient Greek? No, this is something else. Like, it's like a very big muscle man. Just about to start hulking out. No. So I like that uh, her idle animation in this is very, like, a maze just. feels as hard as rock, despite this damp environment. This one has shattered to pieces. Hmm. A simple pot made of clay. There is a nook hidden within the fist, as if to hold something. There is a nook. The figure is holding a whip. The figure is presenting what looks like a sheaf of wheat. Wheat. Beautifully ornate pot. This is the only one with a lid. Sealed top. There's something rattling. Uh, oh, I guess we lost our chisel. Some situations do call for brute force. Bonk. There's something here. It looks like a crank. Okay. It looks like a empty. A stream of water is trickling down from the sodden earth above. There's nothing. There's no. Try as I might. There's a small hole. A lock, perhaps. There's a small hole in the. A lock, perhaps. There's a small. A lock. I was kind of curious as to what uh, sort of uh, uh, box I've this is. Some water in the pot. Not sure why I would be doing that, but you know. The tiles are broken here. Oh, or maybe I think. Hmm. There is nothing there to water. Okay. Fine. It fits in the hole. Let's see if I can turn it. My word. The box is full of seeds. They glow in a most un... Well, what's a little bit of uh, radiation doing to it at this point? In a most Hmm. The soil is too compact. I can't plant the. <sighs> okay, this seems kind of just like busy work at this point. I've broken up the soil. There we are. Am I dreaming? Okay. As for the whip, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. It fits. Uh, are those roots? Can I reach those? Yeah. These roots. I was like wondering if maybe I need to cut the string of the fiddle spell uh, with that to use that as a whip uh. I've removed a portion of the root I'll keep it 
like whip a substitute, but maybe not. I'm almost on to something there. Uh, I can't see how. Yeah, fair enough. I can see I'm how. I'm not sure. That's a peculiar. The curious length of root is strong yet flexible. Hmm. I don't need to take. I don't need any. No, no. Okay, now. I mean, it's a little crude, but I believe I fashioned a whip. Huh. A makeshift whip. I think I've done rather well. Not entirely sure how. Uh, I guess it's kind of like a handle, I guess. But I was like just mostly going by that. Uh, uh, by the fact that uh, we haven't lost the, the crankle. The crankle. <laughs> the crank hasn't disappeared from our inventory at that point. It fits. Investigated all of that. I'm unsure if this had any function. It seems bare of any detail. Whatever was once placed here is long gone. Ooh, is it a mace? Um, a thick, greasy substance is oozing from the broken pot. In any other circumstance, this beautiful vessel would be one of my greatest finds yet. Here, it seems meaningless. Oh, hello. It looks like an object to be. Hey there, buddy. What in God's name? I shan't go near it. Oh, it's a friend. Empty. A thick. I haven't the faintest... I don't wish to... I'm sure it'll come ha in handy. Incredible. The bust of an eagle. It's facing north towards the goat. Oh no. The bust of an ass. <laughs> it's facing northwest. A bust of a mighty bull. It's facing southeast. A menacing goat carved from stone. I think this is a bear. It's facing east. My god! A severed hand is locked in a death grip on the handle. Who did this belong to? Ghastly. A carved bust of a cat. It's facing west. The bust of a dog. It's facing okay. something in its mouth. Uh. There's something in its a gold coin. There are no mark. Hmm. The gold coin. Well, the fingers are icy. I've managed to. Should I? <laughs> You never know when it might come in handy. The hand is dry and withered, like beef that has been left to age. Okay, I don't know. 
I feel like we probably need a couple of more clues before we attempt to do anything with that. Empty. Empty. The man is presenting a small, rounded object. Hmm. This figure makes my skin cool. What exactly? It presents a small... It's a little guy! A friend! A remarkably accurate depiction. Astonishing! An ancient device! Okay, uh... I guess this is like an old school... It's like one of those old school copy protection things. It moves a fraction. It appears to... It moves... I can't fit... Do we have anything we can jam in there? I don't think so. Hmm. Characters. Perhaps Greek in origin? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't I can't really read Greek that well or much at all. I know that's like an L. And I think the B is kind of a bit like more sometimes pronounced like a V. I know in Cyrillic that's not, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe if I... The coin went in. Okay. Mm, I don't think... Huh? I can't move it an inch. There is a thin slot set into the front of it. Yeah, I was about to say, where's the... Like, maybe... I was kind of hoping we'd... Goodness me! Oh! Hey! Herbert? It's Herbert! What madness is this? Something is ha Hmm. A writhing mass of serpents carved from stone. On the reverse side is a thin notched shaft. Perhaps a key of some name. are you doing down here you silly cat did you follow me it looks absolutely starving hmm the statue echoes the mural back the statue a hole has been driven into the a hole extraordinary an ancient monument so deep beneath the earth I know not the world I find myself in Okay, this is where we came in from. That doesn't fit that. Hmm. Take a closer look. It fits. Hmm? Oh. A thin rod with tiny notches along the head is adorned with an Ouroboros. Huh? Something moved in another room. Okay. Nope, doesn't seem to have changed anything in here. Probably not in here either, then. probably in there. Oh? Hmm, there's an inscript Sauri. Okay. Hmm, there's an inscript Falsa. Okay. Hmm, there's an inscript Ioth. Huh? There's an inscription. Okay. Hmm. There's an inscription. Hello, Isle. Hmm. Not really sure what any of this means. Hmm. There's an inscription. Hmm. 
Hmm, there's an inscri- Error fa- This crank is jam- Do they all need to face the right way? I don't know, man. The bust of it's facing me. I feel a little bit lost. The statue egg. The stat. Hey, you want to eat a hand? Uh, apparently he wants to eat a hand. They were sort of joking there. Um. Um. Uh. Okay. Ghastly. A gold. There are no. Mo I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what any of this shit would achieve. I'm pretty lost here. Something stirred within the plinth. The characters are now protruding out from the plaque. Perhaps. Hmm. I don't know. What was the good dude called? A bust. Its face. I think this it's face the bust is facing a menacing goat I can't move as an in speed okay seven hmm empty Oh, there's no we. It appears this Okay. of inexplicable life. A great carved serpent has emerged. I think I shall... A great car... I think that moved. Okay. I can't. Qu ah. I guess that did something, but we need another one too. The statue. There is a queer, extra, an ancient monument. 
I know not the one. Okay. Unless there's something. No. Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't. Okay, that one's the stuck this one. This crank is jammed. It won't budge. Do they all need to be facing? I guess I think the one in the middle won't move at indeed. all. If I and... yeah, so maybe they all need to be facing that. I can't. There's an Is it like? A menacing goat. Is it like a stone. clock? Is the it... bust of an ass. It's facing northwest. Although, then I guess it would be like northwest, I guess is the idea. This crank. The bust of an is facing. No, wait, that doesn't move either. Wait a second. That moves. There. There's. There's six. Yeah, seven. The bust of it is facing north. Then I guess that's the one that doesn't. Did that move? Can we move that somehow? No. This crank. Was there like maybe something in the journal? Uh -huh. Okay, roll theta epsilon and C. All eyes must face toward the same at a contact. Okay, when the sun and the moon, two moons meet, the guardian shall be defeated, I will fall off my spirit, blah, blah, blah. Rho Theta Epsilon C. Which one's that? Uh... Ah, well, I was kind of, I guess that worked. Is it? Mm -hmm. Ah, and I think I know what the greasy substance is for then. But um, first off, is that? 
What in God's name? Could there be some? Probably. What's this? A piece of stone. It must be important. But yeah, all gotta paste the seven thing. And any other here, just so let's see, maybe we can grease it. The greasy substance. Voila. Glad we looped up the yes. It's always very important to do that. Bust of its face. The bust of an app, its face. The bust, its face. The bust, its face. Okay. It's facing southwest. A bust, its face. is facing I think this it's face ah. there we go <laughs> we party time Something has emerged from within the bust. There's something here. A curious. Mm -hmm. Oh, singularity of those characters. Ah, uh, so just not do like different either. Just press the ones that are like where there's just one of them. Mm -hmm. All eyes must point when the sun and the two moons meet. The guardian suddenly. Okay, I guess we could have. I, I I mean it wasn't so hard doing this by trial and error. Oh. That language reveals the path, for thou art the moon, the chief of the stars. Listen to this thing that I have said, follow the words of my... Okay. The thin stone is big. This is larger than... The stone... This is small. It fits. It looks like an object. Ah. Then... It fits. And um, there. It fits. <sighs> Goodbye, goat friend. Oh, it's gone. Kaja? Saja? I have no idea what it means. A serpent's head is carved. Mm -hmm. A small round niche is. Okay. A small. A page, perhaps. What have we here? This is my father's hand. A page. Samuel's hand was ripped clean off by an un unseen force. There was so much blood. It remains to be seen if sex not was the perpetrator of this shocking act. He's a sturdy lad and he live. But he is shaken. I am shaken. Mr. Shoulder, however, seems very keen to push on. The man is positively chipper. He's right, though. We do have a job to do. And by Jove, we will get it done. Saxnot. 
I wonder if this had any relevant... I wonder if two fearsome serpents have been painted onto what appears to be a shield. I can make out chains hanging from above, holding it in place. Mm. Empty. Ah. Hell yeah. The eye seems to follow me round the room. No movement there. Ugh. The eye see. The mouth is clenched. The horn looks. Try as I might. It looks like something could. What a hideous sight. It's been. It's been. Smithereens. It's very. I believe this might be. The soil has. Again. Not sure. But seems to be the general way to go right here. here. Oh. How gruesome. Aww. No. A horn has broken away. A horn. I'll take it. Okay, let's slap that. The horn fits per. Okay, do we have anything that's locked? Maybe that niche. A small... I don't know. I can't see how that... A serpent's... I can't... Re That is well out. That is well out. Mm. It's very. <sighs> That's not moving. Stars and now Trivium. No movement that it's no use. I do not wish to come. No. If I can just wedge the knife under here. You. Bump. Got it. Not sure how that helps me. The eye is rather unsettling to look at. But I don't know. Remarkable. Indeed. There's a key hidden. Okay. There's a key. I'll take. Right. A key. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I was about to say it would be a bit insecurity, you know. Like, it would be a bit redundant to have, like, the lock revealed by the same thing that also gives you the key that kind of defeats the purpose the key fits. Uh. sounds like a mechanism creeped somewhere far above me okay. too fear i can make out that is what 
It's very I have no idea. We need to find a way for Art, art carving lid. I don't I know. Yeah, I don't know either. That's but... Hmm. I wonder if I wonder if that is well out. I mean, I can't reach it. Or maybe now the door is just open after that mechanism uh, did a thing now. I mean, I kind that's of. That's not moving an inch. Like, it would sort of mean it's. I would assume it has something to do with the. Was there like uh, something. Is that oh. Okay. A keyhole. That's gross, but oh, and just keeps oozing. It fits. I like how Timasina still has like her chipper like <laughs> <and creep laughs> somewhere far above me. Tone whenever she solves a puzzle, you know, hooray! What a horrific racket. Aww. That dreadful sound seemed I can almost make out a pattern. A tune of sorts. Oh, oh boy. Is it like Oh, um Well I don't really know how to read uh no it's I think G is here then this fits. No, that's not it. Okay. Okay, G, D, A. No, that's mm. not it. Or maybe it's like the other way around. So G no, that seems pretty low. One second. No, that's not it. Or rather, let's say, this is the lowest, then D, then A, and E would be even more poor. I don't know. A second, let's start that again. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to brute force it if uh, everything else fails, but.
No. Hmm. Arkaja, Sanja. Arkaja. I have no idea. Car. I have no idea. I wish I had paid attention in music class. I still like something I can. Okay, so it's five notes, they're related to... No. That is well... It looks like it looks like Am I stupid? No, that's not it. Well, wait a second. It sounded like any Okay, carvings now. Doesn't seem that dreadful sound. I can almost make out a pat it is well out of Or are we supposed to just feel what we're hearing coming from there? That's a peculiar Okay. No, that's not. I don't know, I'm a bit lost there. Look, uh, I didn't know there was going to be music theory, so I think I'm just going to Google the solution for this puzzle because I'm pretty stumped. Okay, it's Gardak. <laughs> G. Look, it's the internet. <laughs> it 
It's all just hogwash. Damn right. Is this all in my head? An eye. It is rather a sun. A star? A crescent. The plaque is inscribed. My father understood the language. It's. Crea to es Luna. Lux ad Astra. Et audi omnia cre ego locutus sum. Secretur verba oris mei. Ostende mihi. Ai. I don't... my Latin's not very good. I know that Luna... Um, I think it's probably right. Something you are the moon. Something to the stars and listen. Uh, but I think it's uh, simply the... what they had. For thou art the moon, the chief of the stars. Listen to the things that I have said. Follow the words of my mouth. Reveal thyself to me. So it's moon, stars, listen, probably an ear, and mouth, and reveal thyself. But yeah, kind of, honestly, come on, Thomasina, how the fuck are you, are you not fluent in Latin, if that's your whole thing? Ah! Father? With popish tricks and relics rare, the priests their flocks do gull. In casting out the earth, take care. Huzzah! I've found a skull! Bonk. Okay, stars. First off, let's get this done. This is my father. My initial suspicions are proving to be true. We are not dealing with a mere folk goblin conjured up in the minds of farmers on which to blame their failures. Sex not made drill here, but he is not alone. I think back to all I have studied, all I have learned. Everything points to the possibility of a much more malign influence. Something long forgotten stirs within this bleak place. Something dark, something monstrous longs for attention. I have prepared the tablet. I will put an end to this. Maybe we shouldn't undo this shit. I don't understand. What is this tab? I wonder what happens if we walk down into a wrong door. I wandered through those squalid tunnels for what felt oh, like no. hours. Okay. Fine. Nothing funny. No, like, incredibly gory death scene. Three, two, one. You can open your eyes now, Thomasina. Come. Are you ready for your first excavation? Father. Capital. Make sure you remember everything I've taught you. I have a feeling you might find something special. Can you hear me, Father? Is it really you? I'll be watching from the steps, my little bird. Good luck! Something has been... Thomasina, we... I remember... I haven't seen I haven't seen this
Nothing. Nothing. Father, it look, leave no, can't you? Oh, the wretched smell. Uh. Not entirely sure what that's even supposed to be. What is the meaning of this? Father? Okay, listen here. Yeah. She looks devastated. Mother? Mother? Thomasina? Is that you? Father! It is! It's me! My dear, sweet little bird. I'm so very dreadfully hot. Please remove these covers. They suffocate me so. Father, you can talk again. And I've got so much to ask you. So much to tell you. But please, first... The covers. The sheets are pulled up. Oh boy. Okay, that's pretty cool. Father, your body. Oh, my dear, clever girl. You're so close now. How good it is to finally speak with you again. But don't worry, it will all be fine soon. You're Everything's to going end. to be all right. Everything's going to be nice, perfect. Don't worry. Cool. It's too high up. Everything's chill, you know. Everything's cool and normal. Oh. Look, we're in a cool, normal, um giant cave. It's... everything's... Ak... Farkas. My god! Father, this ends now. Soil. I should take a cl There's something here. In a tablet made of lead. There's an inscription scratched into it. Alige's Daemonium. Incantamentum. With mine blood shall thou be bound to the earth, and only with mine blood shall thou be freed. Is this what Saxonot was referring to? I mean, we probably shouldn't be doing this. My father wrote this? Like, it seems like a kind of a bad idea. Bad idea.
Like, I feel at this point you could have just not done that, lady. scarcely believe what I saw looming over me in that Stygian chamber. How does one even attempt to describe the indescribable? The vision before me defied all logical explanation. All my efforts to do so have fallen on deaf ears, merely providing a chance to be mocked, pitied, and dismissed as mentally unsound. I dare not commit that unfathomable glimpse to paper, but it was real, Mother. He is real. Not an imaginary terror, but a demon. A god brought to life. I turned and ran, striving to somehow make my way out of that accursed barrow alive. Inspirited by the hope that my squalid deed had freed Father from his plight, speechless voices whispered to me in unknown tongues that grew louder with every step. Suddenly, there was light. Oh. I saw him too. That night I saved your father. Ever since then, I felt his corruption growing within me. He grew stronger and stronger as he raged against the incantation that bound him beneath the soil. I fought him with all my might, tried hard to bury him in the corners of my mind. Oh, Thomasina, how I tried, but I could deny him no longer. I became an but an instrument. His voice became my own. I deceived you. I'm sorry. No. I am his now. Soon we'll all be his. Hail of Rexus Rex. Hey, uh... Well, I say she's done it, Leonard. Your Lordship, I believe she has. My dear Miss Bateman. There is a god about whom you know nothing, because men have forgotten him. We call him by his name, Abraxas. Welcome back, master. Come, Leonard. We must await him at the chapel. Aye. Only there shall he be complete. Miss Bateman, welcome back to Ticehurst House. It's been quite some time. Terrible weather this evening, is it not? Nurse Blaketon has had enough of me smoking inside. Makes her cough, you see. A bit of rain won't kill me, will it? You, uh, you mustn't be interested in me nattering on. Give my regards to your father. Nurse Blaketon is preparing his supper. You look pale, Miss Bateman. Do head inside. You'll catch your death out here. Okay, then. Uh-huh. 
Um. Right. I guess now I'm possessed by the demon. Um. Ah, Mr. Kemp. Welcome. My heart is his heart, your lordship. And my light is his light. We've a full house for today's sermon. You'd best take your seat. My heart is his heart, your lordship. And my light is his light, Mr. Long. You have made an Eden here, your lordship. We are ever so thankful to you. I assure you, Mr. Long, this is only the beginning. Please, join the others inside. My heart is his heart. And my light is his light, dear Leonard. How are you feeling? Fit as a fiddle. I mean, on the, pl <laughs> <laughs> on the plus side, it's uh, kind of nice that uh, Lord Pansford gets along better with people oh, now. And now I sit in this dismal room, day after day, year after year. Imprisoned and committed with seemingly little hope of redemption. You have chosen not to visit me, and I understand that I do. Indeed, I've had but one visitor, Arthur Tillett. He comes to see me once or twice a year. A loyal and decent man who tried in vain to warn me of the wicked plot concocted by Lord Panswick and Mr. Shoulder. Thankfully, Midland Railway accepted his transfer request. He and his wife were able to leave that damnable village several weeks after my excavation. It feels like an age has passed since that fateful night at Ticehurst House. But finally, you have my full account. I thought I knew my father. As I look back on my childhood memories, I can only conclude that it was his wish to protect me from the true nature of his endeavors. But why didn't you tell me the truth? Especially after what happened to him at Hobbsboro. Why did you allow me to grow up idolizing a man who didn't exist? I did not kill father. It was he that guided my hand. I was in thrall to that most malevolent force, Abraxas. I beg you to understand. He has had his revenge, but I know he will return. Where is he now? What more is he capable of? I only wanted to save my father. Damn, hate when that happens. Oh, mother, what have I done? Forgive me.
Well. Okay. Well, music from the, the demon himself, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that was... I guess we did excavate Hop Sparrow. So, yeah. That was that game. This... Uh, yeah, I liked it. Maybe... I don't know, it, it was like a little bit of a, a slow burn at the start, and then not sure how happy I am with the ending. It, it felt... Hmm, I don't know, it, 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 it didn't feel like Thomasina was that driven before, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like there were plenty of, <laughs> you know, points at which he uh, could have just said, yeah, probably, real life, probably not a good idea, really. Um, which, you know, I I don't mind when characters do stupid things, uh, but it felt like... Uh, this case, it felt like a bit... Like, they could have done a better job, you know, uh, I guess selling it. I don't know. Uh, what happened with the milkman? Why the fuck was he uh, tied to the post? Who did that? So what happened with the uh, cannon? I mean, I guess I don't mind uh, leaving some things just open. But... Well, but yeah, generally speaking, it was pretty fun. The puzzles weren't like super bad uh, by adventure game standards. I'm sure like the fiddle puzzle would have made sense if I actually knew a thing about music. Um, Well, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's good that they uh, credit whoever, wherever they got their sound effects from, but <laughs> okay, daringflash.wav. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. No after credit scenes. Anything else there now? 
Oh. Hmm. But yeah, that was the excavation of Hop Sparrow. Um, we excavated the shit out of it. There's still some... We still have three hidden achievements. I wonder what those are. If there's like some sort of alternative ending or something. I don't, don't think so, but... Okay, apparently that's just one ending. But yeah, um, that was the excavation of Hop Sparrow. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did. Um, and yeah. Well, that kind of leaves the question as to what I'm going to be doing next time. Well, I... I do have... I'm thinking about a couple of things, but, you know... Hey, uh, like Resident Evil 4 got a new DLC lately, so maybe I'll check that one out. Probably, you know. Uh, let's see if we if Ada actually waits this time around. Uh, but yeah, whatever it's going to be, I hope you guys uh, are going to enjoy it, and you have a good time until then. Cheers! <laughs>